Hi everyone, welcome to Pebbles channel. Today we are going to do some interesting experiments and we are going to learn the mechanism that is the scientific principles behind those experiments. So are you ready? Let us begin. The next experiment we are going to see is called the R glass. This is somewhat like our stopwatch. So, do you remember the hourglass? Yes, it is a glass that has sand and when you turn it over, the time taken for all the sand to move to, from the upper part of the glass to the lower part is the time of that hourglass. So now I'm going to show you how to make an hourglass using oil and water. The things you will need for this experiment are oil, a bottle of oil, a full bottle of oil. You will need another plastic bottle of the same size. So as you know, an hourglass consists of two glasses which are of the same size. So I have two plastic bottles here. One is filled with oil and the next one I'll be filling it with water so you will need water and then you will need two straws so two drinking straws you will need so shall we begin I will first begin by drilling two holes in the bottle covers so first I take two bottle covers and use a glue gun to secure them. If you look closely you can see that I have secured these two together with the help of glue. Next I have drilled two holes in the covers. So make sure it goes all the way through both the covers. You can use a drilling machine or a soldering rod for this. And kindly do this under parent supervision. So now the bottle covers are ready. The next step is to pour the water into the bottle. So just like how we have one bottle of oil, we need one bottle of water. The bottle must be full. So now the bottle is full. The next step is the insertion of the straws. So first you need to cut the straws to your required length. Depends on the size of the bottle you are using. So I have taken half the size of the straw. Now. I'm inserting the straw into these holes. So I finished inserting the first straw. Now the next straw. So make sure the straw fits correctly in the hole because if not your hourglass won't work properly. And now, here's the trick. One side of the straw should be shorter on one side and longer on the other side. And for the opposite straw, it is the opposite. The other side should be longer and the other side should be short. So this is how you have to arrange the straws and the bottle covers. So now that we have done this, let us move on to the next. So now I am putting the cover over the bottle of water. And I am closing it tight. The next step is where you need to be careful. I am going to invert this bottle over the next. So you need to do so 
try with try to do it without spilling the water if you look closely you can see that there are drops of water coming out through this straw and there are drops of oil coming out through the top straw So you can use it the other way too. So now can you see the oil coming down and the water going up? So this is how we make an hourglass. So what did we do in this experiment? We used two plastic bottles of the same size. We filled one bottle full of oil and the other bottle full of water. And the covers of the two bottles that is the bottle caps we took it and secured them using glue using hot glue and then we drilled two holes in these two caps after that we inserted the two straws according to the size of our bottle we chose the length according to the size of our bottle and finally we inverted one bottle over the other and here we have our very own uh, glass. So now by seeing how long it takes for the entire content of water to move to the other bottle and oil to move to the first bottle, you can, every, you can calculate this every time. So once if you know, for example say it takes 15 minutes, every time it is going to take the same 15 minutes provided the water doesn't spill out. If water spills then you know the timing is going to change so this is how we make our very own our glass at home